position is also slow, and I don't think you really want to go into a late game where you're even or slightly behind against the comp that Afrika have drafted. Yeah, I think Afrika's comp's very scary. I think the late game potential on the side of uh, Damwon Kia can't be scoffed at either. I actually don't necessarily see who's outright going to be ahead uh, in the later stages of the game, especially not after a few ornaments have come in from Khan's on, but if you're talking about around, you know, level 12, 13, things like that, I think that's when this Afrika comp's really going to come online. If they can fight around, you know, a potential fourth dragon or something like that, it really does depend on where all of this pressure is going to go in the early stages and who can set themselves up uh, for the success in this particular game. Because for the first time, Darmwan Kia have a Felios and Thresh. Uh, Khan picked Barely. it up blind and Keen had the gangplank there to make sure that things were going to go okay as Fly's already having an awful time in this lane. There is some movement here actually from Dread to try to relieve this pressure because he knows Graves isn't here, so they're actually gonna collapse. Yeah, it's a big flash barrel immediately gonna flash out as now Ghost takes a very short lantern ride, but I think it might be enough to keep them alive. Flat, it's it's a cloud Drake, so even if they take it, it's uninteresting. <laughs> yeah, but somebody might die as uh, Khan is rotating down. I think Canyon has found himself in a really awkward spot here, but they're gonna collapse. Oh no. Gameplay button comes through, but the stopwatch is there for Dread. He's gonna be able to flash out, but Canyon has a flash for him. Dredge line there to try and keep him alive, and that blast cone was amazing. We have no first bloods, but we do have potentially a turret plate going down. As, uh, as I say it, Lahen's gonna get exhausted here. Titan's Wrath comes in, but that's a good hook from Beryl. Cannon Barrage comes through, and Lahen's is gonna survive. So very, very early survivability gone for him. He's got oh, his, uh, oh no. Yeah, he does have the Lilting Lullaby. There is a Lantern Ride as he falls asleep. Ghost is going to have to sacrifice Barrel here, I think. The play does absolutely nothing. It's a great sidestep there from Bang. As Canyon's over the wall, Dread is going to trade this one one for one. Feels a little bit like a no rush 20, much like Valdez and I were experiencing yesterday. As Canyon's looking to try and prove me wrong here, coming for a potential dive. As there's the Ornhorn from Khan. We'll get the knock up onto the Gangplank. He flashes. But you can't flash twice and the collateral damage will pick him up. The trade will be there with the Cloud Drake, but it's a Cloud Drake like we were talking about. So, a kill on Dakin going to be very valuable here for Damon Kia. Yeah. They're not going to go ahead and commit the. We'll watch it again here as Khan is able to set up the Ornhorn, which I think is what Keen had confidence he could avoid uh, and was therefore feeling like he was going to be fully safe. He knew Khan was, or Kanye was coming up because otherwise, why would this trade be happening so aggressively? The turret aggro goes to Canyon, actually, who has more health there. Champions with a lot of high-powered and high-value ultimates towards the later stages of the game. A lot of extra damage coming through from Kane. The utility is great from Khan as sleep does come through. Death Charge comes down as well. Dredge Line's good as there's the Shockwave. Only lands on to one, but that might be all they need as Bang looks to try and collect the kill with the Void Seeker, but instead just has to agree. On that bot side. And when you have, hold that thought to red. Yeah, that is only a now. here. Spins around a lot as there are so many AoE abilities. It will be picked up by uh, Canyon in the end as Fly cops a gameplay button to the face. And has to run out of there, thankfully. Has a few extra stats. No Zonya is actually utilized there by Dread. Just yeah. to get too far out of position, unfortunately. Uh, a really favored fight for the Aphelios. So if you can get into position, they're actually just not here. Simply put, and that's just going to go over a free. I want Kiev to get something else on the map. They're just going to lose this fight. Yep, massive CC chain there on Canyon. He wasn't allowed to play the game. They just said no. And Lahen's been playing very, very well in this one. Fly, decent flash, gets him out of the way and just the tip of the hook. Not quite enough. <laughs> As uh, Keen has quite a large advantage. He's been parlaying a bunch of minions here. As Canyon, oh dear, he's gonna have a snooze, but not before taking the uh, blast cone out, the flash after from Dread, but Canyon's just gonna flash his way away. And that, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I feel like that's a lot more valuable on a Graves a lot of the time. As we're gonna see a big engage here. Yep, Bang gonna have to flash out as well as a lot of damage from the Lilia and that no flash that you were talking about comes into great effect here for Darmon Kia as this Mountain Drake has just spawned. Just a small mistake that cost them big. Well, this one might cost them as well as there's the exhaust down onto Keen. Thankfully Khan can just build himself summoner spells whenever he loses them. Well, we can see some big sleeps, but in general, you know, it does feel like as we're gonna see Keen get picked here again, just didn't have vision. Um, it feels like in general, you know, Adamo and Kia are, are the stronger team in late game, and that's scary when you have an Ornn. And if Afrika Freaks decide to aggressively engage, you know, or try to take a fight in this Baron pit, uh, I think a bit overzealously when Adamo and Kia are so close by. I mean, sure, they have to clear some of this vision, but Showmaker, he could do a lot in this upcoming fight with a big stun. 
Well, Cannon Barrage is going to try and zone them away from this Baron as oh, Beryl. No. The only one that might get sleepy here is Khan. This goes in, man. He's get, able to get out of there as well. He's just right. chilling in this mid lane, continuing to farm. Because that's a nice double stun out from Showmaker. Just grabs the pick under the hands. I'll tra he'll trade it, but takes a lantern to get himself out of the way of the shockwave. And that is going to be another comfortable kill. The triple sleep from Dread is just way too late. And Darmon Key will take down the inner turret here as well. I'll just but always I think Rhyme for Rhymeforge Grasp is the one. Um, that he's put together. Just has a few extra stats. Doesn't really mean too much. His canyon gonna take a lantern, gets himself out of almost all of the CCs. Lahan's just going for the forced engage. There's the shockwave. They get rid of canyon. Goes has to flash, but Bang has a flash after him. As the moonlight vigil not gonna be enough, and Barrel also gonna get tidied up here by Afrika. So many barons now missing. As Khan going one v five. Showmaker's here, yeah. but he misses the stun. Khan has the flash. I'm just not sure whether that teleport was the greatest of ideas. Can't forget about Bang's really good, decisive decision making in late game on the Kaisa he's had. Is okay, oh, fly. No. Yeah, fly. Caught out of position. Didn't have anything available. Because we've got Baron up. The player you lose, fly, is one of the best ones to control this zone that Afrika have with Shockwave. And I mean, even walking over here is is probably overzealous. Just gonna try to chunk down Dom Wankia, who do get the Baron after Baron. the fact, but it happened. It was great capitalization from Dom Wankia, and Lahens is now. I'm not even sure. He's going on a merry ride as Ghost is gonna chase after him. He's got Gravitum, so that's just going to be a stun and a destruction out from the Aphelios. Ah, uh, only it's two, but they could collapse. They have to. They had two very good ones as the stopwatch is fantastic. Timing on the shockwave also good, but not good enough. Moonlight Vigil comes down and Lahens has to go into his stopwatch to avoid it. Canyon's gonna go down, I believe, very, very far away from the fight enough to stand on the front line. I mean, Lahens was their only real choice, and he wasn't even strong enough, really, as Khan. He's the super tank, and another kill going over to Showmaker. That's an unofficial triple, I believe, as now he's looking for his next one. Ghost is going to be able to pick it up, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of the game. Dom one here will be able to take down these, in, these Nexus turrets, then the Nexus, and then get themselves some reprieve after their difficult series against Bro. <laughs> Orn Horn one more time. Khan escapes. Oh, calculated. Calculated. Absolutely. Well, Atlas, this is definitely not a game that anyone's going to write home about, but... Some of the damage that was done. Kane certainly doing a lot with his uh, barrels as well as his cannon barrages. But uh, this is a number that you often see for Gangplanks, whether they're on the winning side or the losing. And unfortunately for Kane, it's once again a loss uh, for the Gangplank. King and I think fell prey to this earlier in the season as well. Obviously, top damage is going to be Showmaker actually 10k more. Against Dom One Kia right here, I think Lee Sin is actually a fine choice. Uh, and also is able to follow up on a lot of the CC. I mean, as far as Lee Sin and Alistair and Gragas, you could basically move an opponent without them having an opportunity to do anything from yeah. outside an inhibitor turret to the fountain. <laughs> yeah, basically. I mean, this is the higher tempo play we wanted to see from Afrika going into the second game. So at least we get that. At least we we're able to, to build a draft, or they're able to build a draft. We get to witness this draft that should be on paper, able to control the game, the early to mid stages of it a lot better. I would have personally liked the Hecarim a lot for those later team fights, but we'll see how this pans out, Atlas. Yeah, very interested to see how this one is going to go. Darmon Kier with basically the draft that they wanted, but Afrika with a lot of extra tools in the earlier stages and eyes are going to be on Dread. I mean, man, if they're Dread looking for a level three gank. Here we go. This is what I was talking about. This level three on the Showmaker. Beryl's already here, though. Scare of the week. Fantastic stun comes through as Beryl just going to crash down and Dread's like, dang it, why is there a horse here? Just now yeah. happens. And so Showmaker's going to be way too safe as Khan. Gets Kane into a good position. Canyon lying in wait in exactly the right uh, spot. Body slam now on cooldown, but there's the defensive cask. I love it. Spear gonna land, but not enough follow up here from Canyon, who's still going for it. Over the wall here is now Dread. Finds himself under fire. No help from his top laner, of course, because King's health bar is so low. Stun comes down. No, not from Khan just yet. Dread's still gonna be pressured out of his jungle as Fly taking a lot of damage. Gameplay coming through here from Fly. Flash out from Showmaker as the culling. Unfortunately, there's a wall there, Showmaker. So yeah. can't actually get that Dread? angle effectively as Dread. Yeah, in exactly the right spot. See whether the E's there, and it's not. Just. Had to wait for the cooldown a little bit too long. Drift Herald immediately backs away from the blue buff that he was heading towards before and wastes a lot of time happy feeding. Keen though, finds his way in. There will be a slice for Khan to try and get him out of that Q. 
somehow misses from Dread, and Khan decides that he wants to take the fight. The kickback comes in as now Khan closing the gap on to Fly, who doesn't have a lot of mana left over. Canyon fighting one versus two isn't really what you want. A safeguard is going to get the lease into safety, and now Canyon one versus three. Don't really like those odds, unfortunately, as Fly barely going to survive his barrel. Can he get the crash down? He does. Lands it onto the Syndra. And so Canyon's going to have his blushes a little bit spared here as the rest of Afrika heading towards their outer turret. And Khan. I agree. All right, yeah, goes. This is a trade you want. Yeah, exactly. The Rail coming through a little bit late here as Bang grabs his S rank. And now Beryl, we're going to try and crash through, but he's just going to take three damage and Bang. Only going to get magnetized at the very end. Oh, Void Seeker going to miss. Something like that. And they grab Ghost's heal for free. Oh, Fly is in trouble. Oh, no. He's dead, Wolf. It's not in trouble. He was dead as soon as that crocodile started moving forward. Now, he's very going. dangerous over short distances. He's going to leave like this time out for a little bit. Um, yeah. As uh, Dread has been sitting on like 70 CS for a little while here. Um, uh, oh, he might be sitting on dead pretty soon. As our uh, safeguard is there. And of this game, the timing where it was going to be powerful is over. We've passed it now. And even yep. though he's 2-0, he hasn't done enough. And he hasn't helped Ooh. control the lanes. This is sick from Keen, though. Khan takes two turret shots that he couldn't afford to take. Fat Flash follow from Keen. Absolutely. Maybe not the most difficult. I think um, there could be one of the things. I'm going to have to hold that thought here as well. In a whole host of trouble. Going to be taken down very early. It's Ghost from the hens. Nor are they going to be surprised about a freaker going for a Cloud Drake here. As someone here moving towards Dread, but... There is certainly something lying in wait here as unfortunately Barrel out of position yet again. Able to create some distance, but Bang's gonna be able to grab that kill. Keen. Keen looking to try and punish Ghost yet again. Five people down here. The flash comes through. Mini stun against the wall there as Ghost gonna get dove and destroyed. Keen is, I don't know, on another level on this uh, Gragas play right now, but they're still trying to control for more of the map. I think you're pretty happy with that one. This, this is gonna be Canyons. Jumped on. <laughs> oh, oh man, so sick. so sick. That's the least end you're looking for. Yeah, so I might have been a little bit mean to Ghost. He wasn't actually allowed to play League of Legends with that particular play. As uh, Samira being able to hold him in place was just uh, so scary. We're going to have to hold that thought as well as Bang. Yeah, he's trying to get that really big S, but he's just uh, going to have to do that from the death chamber, I believe. Unfortunately, stuck in the wrong spot. Is Showmaker going to flash? And Fly moves pretty fast. Yeah. Showmaker is underneath the turret. And that was a slight overextension. Uh, I think we're going to watch the Showmaker replay again. Oh, no, we're going to watch this instead. Um, but we can talk about that Showmaker replay instead, as we all know what happens here. The bank gets stunned. Um, the, the fact that we're seeing plays like this from Showmaker, not only in this series, but in the Fred of Breon series as well, where he's just trying to... It's like, what are you trying to prove? Uh, you're already considered the most famous mid laner right now, you know, next to Faker in terms of success, right? Like, yeah, you're, you're looking for a kill here, but what? you already got his flash, like, just walk away. Like, what are you trying to prove here? You know, you, you're already a world champion. Like, you're already on the yeah. best team for in Korea. extension there for the yeah. Dom on Kia mid laner. Put a little bit of a humanoid there. Uh, oh, left dear. This is almost like chasing... Uh, Reddit highlights as Khan is also going to find himself in a really nasty spot. Hands with the headbutt back. Why wants this? Yep, doesn't have his uh, ultimate available just yet, as uh, the dash is actually interrupted quite nicely there by Fly, as Lahens, not a lot of mana, doesn't have Thanks his ulti here. either, as Teleport's going to come in, Showmaker looking to try and answer, getting some instant revenge, but like you say, Bang's going to turn up in the nick of time, and Afrika are going to chase them out, scatter the weak, damage, so very nice, as uh, Showmaker once again stepping a little bit too far forward, Shirley going to take a bit of a walk here towards the inner turret, and Canyon going to miss that spear. Kane is happily able to poke her in the eye, but he's going to miss his barrel. And that might mean that he's going to fall down. Oh, the... Oh, the... <laughs> that was just amazing. Out of lands actually broke my brain for a little bit. The pulverize just beautiful, but just yeah, not enough. It. So, Rika are going to fight their way in here. But it might be too late. Yeah. Barrel going to dive on forward, but he's smacked back immediately. The Baron's also going down while this is all being said. It's bang. Caught in the Magnet Storm, and the Baron's now going to be given away. Beryl, very, very low, but Lahans also has to get himself out, as that's a great kick. And that's going to secure the kill on the Canyon. The Rel being brought back into the fight as well, as Keen finds the target he's looking for. Ghost 
Khan and Showmaker now against the world. They have a lot of damage, but now it's Khan that's being caught by himself. The rest of Afrika on the approach. And they've lost no one in this battle. Khan, I mean, he's very durable at this point in the game, but unfortunately can't do anything in the face of five people. The Baron was under fire. They knew it was going to be a slow take. They were slowly pushing wards and they fought their way in very carefully towards the Dom Juan Kia that was unfortunately a little bit indecisive as to how they were going to rotate over to deal with it. Showmaker is here, but he alone denying this, even with low hit point bars, is pretty unrealistic. Barrels here as well now. The Baron's doing a lot of work as Lahenz gets over the wall, I believe, with a Hex Flash. As now the stun comes down, but Lahenz is just going to die. Flash out from Showmaker. Arden Blaze comes in and goes, looking to try and tidy this one up. It was an optimistic Baron and they were punished for it. As now Canyon's chasing after Dread. Safeguard might be able to help him, but Khan has said no to any of this. He just wants to win the game. Yeah. The back is going to come through. It's Keen against the world, which is kind of what this game has felt like. And Darwin Kia went from throwing going to winning about as quickly as you possibly can. Nexus turret number two goes down and this game, ladies and gentlemen, is over at 25 and a half minutes. It's 8,000 in the lead as Damon here. It felt so much like Afrika might have been able to find themselves back into the game. It was Dread's first death. But still, they were too far behind. And um, the post-match after that, so much damage done by Keen. The most in the game, uh, which is extraordinarily impressive uh, for this guy on a full tank, Gragas. Um, he did more than anybody else by a large margin. I think everyone uh, 